Did you realize that about 90% of your decisions come from your past programming or memories? Even now that I just asked you this question, the question is ringing in your, in your mind, in your databanks of knowledge, to find the appropriate answer so you can vouch for it, so you can come up with something that makes sense. We are programmed beings. We're programmed from our families, our parents, our relatives, expanding further into our friends, teachers, preachers, our environment, and the media. We believe what people tell us and what others in our environment believe. Matter of fact, I once heard that most people make within about 20% of the income as their friends. If you look at the various neighborhoods around you, you'll see similar cars, similar kind of boats, houses. People have similar jobs because they kind of gravitate towards each other and they become like each other. So everything about us, such as our religious, political, and ethical beliefs, were programmed and through repetition became our beliefs and then our personal truths. Then, when we meet others with different beliefs, what we do is we argue with them because they don't have the same background as us. They weren't taught things by the same, um, I guess you could say, the, the same ulterior motive. People didn't have the same agenda when they were teaching. So someone on the other end of the world would have different beliefs than we would. So we argue. We start wars. We develop prejudices, hatred, and the list goes on and on. The reason I'm bringing this up is, Raluca and I were talking the other night, and she posed this question to me. She says, what would it be like if you suddenly woke up with amnesia? Thinking of that, suddenly woke up with amnesia. You had no ID, nothing was familiar around you, and no one knew who you were. Now, what would your belief systems be like now? Who would you still hate or like? What grudges would you be still holding, maybe? How would you feel about yourself? Would you be a bashful person, a happy person, an angry or a sad person, because you have no idea what you were before, or how you were brought up to be? What kind of person could you be? Imagine having no baggage holding you back anymore. No negative programming, limitations, or doubts. If you had no programming that you would be sick all the time throughout your life, would you be? If you had no programming that only the lucky people are successful, would you be successful? If you didn't have limiting beliefs to hold you back now, think about what things would be like. Because of our victim mentality, we create these scenarios that hold us back from our past. We blame it on poverty, maybe living in the ghetto, coming from a family with a history of abuse. Maybe a family had poor, ha poor health. Maybe being surrounded by drugs or alcoholism. Never being encouraged as a youth to, to basically... Uh, how should I say, to apply yourself. Maybe you came from a past or a family that experienced divorce, death, failure, catastrophes of some sort. You lived through a tsunami, maybe even the bubonic plague, and the list goes on and on. It's so easy to blame the lack of success in your life on your past. And some people even blame their lack of success on heredity and even on their past life experiences. Yikes! I'm having all this negative in my life now because of what happened to me in a past life. I like to compare how people feel about their past, how they keep it with them, similar to driving a car, the rearview mirror of a car. Look at it like this way. When you're driving in a car, you have a huge windshield in front of you and a little rearview mirror to look behind. And the reason for that, look at it this way, where you're going is so much more important than where you came from. Let it go. Create your own amnesia. 
So now you can see the benefits of having amnesia. But don't go out and hit yourself in the head to do it, okay? That's not what I'm saying, okay? Understanding is the most important thing. Just at, live as if the now is important. Learn from your past, but don't let it run your life. Move forward. You know, without having past programming hold you back, you could be anyone you wanted to be. So think of it. Who would you be without your past? Who could you be? Thanks for listening. And please take a moment to leave a comment for us below.